What's good everybody? It's your boy Rogue Hero here and in today's video, as requested, we're going to do a Destiny Hero deck profile. Smash that like button as we, before we get into the actual profile itself. If this video gets 100 likes before the end of the day, tomorrow's video will be a Destiny Hero deck profile combo tutorial. So be on the lookout for that man. Support your interest if you guys want to see more Destiny Hero profiles. Let me know. And I'll definitely make different versions of this deck. But yeah, let's get into this, man. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't trying to move. Niggas staring at me, what you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. Starting off by saying, this deck, like I said, has been heavily requested by a couple of my um, viewers, especially after my video I did earlier today. So we're going to shoot straight into the list, go over everything in detail. Starting off with one Destiny Hero Dogma. Of course, this would not be a Destiny Hero profile, a somewhat competitive profile without Destiny Hero Dogma. In fact, pretty much reads why he's on the board. He can half your opponent's life points by half, which is actually a pretty good effect. If you bring him out turn one, you get nothing else better to do. At the very least, you're pinning your opponent in half, which is very good in time if you go first and you can search this out and, and just game your opponent. That's going to make some people really triggered. And then next up, of course, one Plasma. Of course, I run both of these because of Dragoon, but I get to Dragoon when I get to him. Plasma, you guys already know, really good staple in any hero deck, let alone Destiny hero deck. Um, you can. Some people may argue you can run two Plasmas, but I think one Dogma, one Plasma is really good for the um, Dragoon combo because Dragoon is a really good boss monster. Um, so yeah, man, with that being said, it's, these two is amazing. Um, one Disc Commander. Disc Commander, I like running him a lot. Um, I do run back to the front of my deck. So Disc Commander with Back to the Friends are a really good combo. It sucks because of their errata. Um, the turn he sent to the graveyard, you cannot special summon him. However, that draw two effect does come in clutch. When I first built my regular hero deck, I did use Disc Commander. And it ran okay because I did run um, Back to the Friends of my regular hero deck. But eventually I learned it was a little slow and I took it out. But this deck, in all honesty, is as competitive as I possibly can be with the Destiny Hero deck because let's be let's face the fact heroes as a deck in general is really good and it's really competitive. Destiny heroes by themselves is somewhat competitive, um, more on the casual side. Definitely a tier 2.5, but the hero engine definitely makes up for it. So yeah, one disc commander that's really good. Um one Dynatag, love Dynatag, he protects you from OTKs. Um, so many games I won off of Dynatag is ridiculous. So I got to run them. I run them in my main hero deck. For you guys haven't have seen that profile, hit that um, button up there to my other hero profile. But yeah, man, Dynatag is a staple. One draw hand. I've always loved draw hand. The fact that he brings himself back is really good off of Fusion Destiny. Then also, if you're down in a um, run and you need to get some cards, you can always draw cards with him and possibly come back and win. One Celestial for the draw power. Same thing as Disc Commander. You really have him to set up your following plays. Um, so good. So I love Celestial, man, especially in regular heroes. One Drill Dark. Now, I know it's a lot of one ofs, and that's because a lot of the Destiny Hero cards are not that good to be multiples. Drill Dark, I was debating. The reason why I kept him in because I do want to have more field presence for times I do want to bring out my Plasma and or Dogma. Also, I mean, he does trample over tokens. That way he can run over from um, 1600 um, damage. But um, overall, Field presence, nothing more to say. Plus, he's a Destiny Hero target, so why not? One, two, Destiny Hero Malicious. Staple. I'm not even gonna explain Mally. You guys already know it's a staple. And then, so that's pretty much it for my Destiny Hero um, monsters. This deck is Destiny Hero themed, so with that being said, they are the main show of the deck. Every other card in the deck is gonna be supporting. Um, there's literally no way to make a somewhat competitive Destiny Hero deck without having other supporting heroes that are clearly good and universal for their archetype. So, of course, I'm going to run the Vision Hero Engine. Two Increase, of course, and then, of course, my three Ferris. Um, Vision Hero Engine is definitely a staple for this deck. You don't want to get caught lacking without this engine. Um, they give you Field Presence, which helps support the Dogma and your Plasma Engine. Very important to run this. Um, of course, if you guys can afford it, a Dusty Gold. This is a staple in Hero Decks, and I got to reiterate, this is a staple in Hero Decks. A lot of Hero players feel that a dust of gold is not needed and i highly disagree no matter what version of heroes you're running you play a dust of gold it's generic for the archetype it gives you another board presence i mean nothing more to be said man like i said 
Don't make excuses to make, make bad plays. I've done it just as good as I have this format because of Dusty Gold. Can you top without it? Yes, that doesn't necessarily mean that the card is not good. Then of course, more supporting stuff like Shadow Mist, Generic, he's really just discard fodder for Ferris. And three Stratos because it's a staple for the deck. I believe this is a 20 monster lineup, pretty heavy, but they all play off of each other. Um, so yeah, really good. That's all the monsters right there. Um, I'm loving this lineup so far. Now for the spells. Um, one Dark Calling, 40 or a Dusty Gold, one Monster Reborn, two Emergency Calls. Like I said, you want to search that Stratos, you can search Stratos, go get Mally, um, play D Draw, things like that. Hero List, because you can Hero List out Stratos and Shadow Mist. Um, three Cosmic Cyclones. And a lot of you guys are probably also thinking this is very similar to my real hero deck, and it is. Um, honestly, because my real hero deck, in my opinion, is so good, it's e but it's also good enough to easily convert to other avenues of heroes. And honestly, just adding more Destiny Hero to the deck can make the deck more Destiny Hero themed, which is, in my opinion, is really freaking good. Because um, the deck's still going to play, it's just going to have more um, Destiny Hero themes to d work on. So three Cosmic Cyclones, um, one Rota for consistency. I debated two Poly. Um, I just ended up going with one Poly. Cause there is some combos in the deck where you sometimes may want to use the um two poly but then again i remembered fusion destiny counts as a polymerization for the for the freaking um what's the word i'm looking for destiny heroes so yeah uh, one poly is still only needed because you can search it with your vion and of course um the cream de la cream that makes the deck good three fusion destiny still funny to me that some people even in for regular hero decks don't want to run this card card is uh freaking amazing bring out your dragon depending on what deck you want to do to stall out your opponent and pop cards and just go off um helps you with dystopia dystopia combos really just really a card in general man really good two mass change because like i said this is more um destiny hero base but it's generic dark law is a good card most of the cards in the deck are dark why not run it no exceptions then two destiny draw um for consistency purposes helps you set up your graveyard to draw through your deck um set up some plasma and dogma plays this version of the deck is really focused on just grinding the opponent out um beating them in time if you can and of course just wrecking them with plasma and dogma bro really good then of course um three back to the front like i like this because like i said if you go first open up fusion destiny you can make um what is that guy called again? I can't think of the name right now. I'm a little tired, guys, so bear with me. Dominance. Back to the front, back your um your disc commander. Draw two on your opponent's turn. Then when Dominance draw again die, you can just draw some more. Like it just this is really good. Like I played this before, I liked it. it. You can always back to the front, straddle on your opponent's turn, pop spells and traps, search out more of your combo pieces. Yeah. And like I said, Destiny Draw. Some people may want to run three. Two is good enough. Um the deck has enough draw power as it is. This is just for more consistencies and get rid of some of those bricks in your hand because a lot of the um, Destiny Hero cards can be bricks at times. Like if you open up um, Mali, you you want to um, get them out of your hand to draw. Um, same thing for Celestial, draw hand, etc. So yeah, man. But it's, I, think, I believe it's a 42 card main deck if I'm not mistaken. Really good deck. I'm loving it. Um, very proud of the build I just came up with. Now for the extra deck, Destiny and Dragon. A broken card um confusion destiny now turn one depending on the deck you're playing against he can't be destroyed by battle i'm sorry he can't be destroyed by battle but he can bring himself back then he can target monster opponent controls and pop and inflict damage to that monster attack really good man can't do battle fade but it's really good powerful effect dustopia is a combo star so if you get to it up to 100 likes i can show you some dustopia combos very limited with under the old master rule now we have master rule five really good card man dustopia is amazing then the rest of it's pretty standard in my opinion. Dangerous, Dominance. You guys know my love, my Dominance. So good. Um, two Dystopias just to add because you have more room. A lot of the times, even my, in my regular hero deck, I'd be wishing I had two Dystopias. So yeah, that burn damage is amazing, man. Burn, baby, burn. Bane, Dark Law, Trinity because it's generic and he can just randomly win you games. Blast because you are running mass change. So if you open up a Stratos, you can good. And then the other cards is the Cross Crusaders. 
staple. I mean, they go hand, they literally support the Destiny Hero engine in full. And then, of course, want to drive for those cute little combos with Mally and Dread Decimator. So, this is my um, Destiny Hero deck in a nutshell. I think it could compete almost as good as my main hero deck. And that's mainly because I try to make this as competitive as possible, but also as fun as possible. So, yeah, man, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here and subscribe for more, man. This is Hero Week. We're doing seven days straight of nonstop hero content. So, if you guys are new here, subscribe if you are a fan of the hero deck. So, this is your boy Rogue Hero bringing out his Destiny Hero deck profile. Let's get this video up to 100 likes and I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces.